Fresh off the draw, this day, Colin Wayne. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're with Peter Jolly for our final game. And what a tremendous couple of days it has been here. It has been sensational rugby league. And it's not all over yet. As we see now, New South Wales coming out of the field. The New South Wales police. And an absolute stellar. Rugby League campaign over the last couple of days. The crowd's in. It's been a, a wild crowd as far as Rugby League goes, but haven't we loved it? It has been absolutely sensational. They've brought their voices from, from right across the state. It has been absolutely phenomenal. It's been great to see. So New South Wales will kick off the first use of the football for the affiliated states. It's a high one two to get the game underway, but it falls for Luke Chant, who brings the football back just up over his own 30 metre line. Of course, it's as I just topped there, mentioned that New South Wales, a they knocked off Queensland by 28 points to four on Origin night. And what an absolute ripper last night as we see affiliated states look to come to the left edge. Andrew Radenau with jersey 20 on his back. This is Chard. The 28-year-old from the, the Kiama Knights will play it. Back to Gillard. He's going to go high into the air and diffused nicely over there by Callum Blinko, who picked up the first try on Origin night. He had an absolute blinder. Callum Blinko, of course, way for the Harold Matts and the SG ball for the Central Coast. But I just wonder what was going through his mind when he crossed the line at a core stadium for the first time the other night. So we'll have the scrum now, right in the middle of the field, to affiliated states. So we've got the lights on here at Leichhardt Oval. It was just a, a tremendous atmosphere. No doubt you've, you've caught up with all the highlights. If you haven't, just log on to nrl.com, go into the video category and scroll down because the full match replay is there between New South Wales and Queensland and they've also put up a, a four and a half minute highlight segment. No doubt plenty of highlights in this one over the next 70 minutes of football. As we see them go from dummy half, that was Ryan Griffin. He's got 21 on his back. The boy from Orange sets it up to the right hand side. This is Radan now. Take and play just outside the 20. They cut out Kavana. Take it down here just outside the 20 metre zone. They again work the left hand side. This is where they're dangerous. They put in the kick. The chases are coming through. Well, he was trying to shadow it, wasn't he? Peacock. And he's done tremendously well there, Peacock, to to shadow that football and uh, the ball's got over the dead ball line so we're back out to the 20 meter line for the for the tap restart as new south wales now rumble their way back into into luke chant here's patterson the boy from just up the road north of here those new south wales cup the wyong ruse Taken down in the ground there was over the top by Gillard and also Samisi. So the shadows covering the, the playing field at the moment. 
It's the fifth and the last. They work the left-hand side. Great ball. Needed to be. Blinko wants it. Blinko may get it shortly, but they go themselves. Now at the last. Fifth and last as Peacock sends it back down to O'Brien. It chips. Taken in goal there by Affiliated States. We're going to have a goal line dropout. And Aiello was asking the referee if that was all legitimate. He said yes, nothing wrong with that. So, what about this? New South Wales, of course, will... About to get the football back. The affiliated states, they go with the, the low, wobbly grubber into Jackson Clark. Take her down there, of course, by Glenn Baker. Giving back way now through the middle. This Crisby. Those for the Hills Bulls. In the Harold Matthews competition. Out the back door is Peacock. Trying to chime his way into it, but the referee here has said there's a tiny knock on there. And credit to Samisi, the constable from the Victorian Police Force. He's come up with an absolute belter of a tackle and ball spills free. The New South Wales Police. Of course, Samisi is. Junior club was with the, the Northern Panthers. He's always been a centre. It's a very classy centre to boot. Scored many tries. He was telling me the other day in, the, in his junior days, he modelled himself off Matthew Giddley from the Newcastle Knights and, and Darren Albert with that Giddley flick that many of you watching would, would know over many years. Now they see the gap through the middle corridor. Here's Aiello. They go down there just short of the halfway line. So 29 minutes remaining as they look to press. The go button here, the crowd getting involved, trying to push the affiliated states into New South Wales' territory as far as they possibly can. They've pushed them down to the 40. Pick advance now. Sending it back for Gillard. He's going to put in the kick downfield and Peacock. That's gone backwards, says our referee. And he comes back away with the football. The, the under-20s represented the Cronulla Sharks, of course, in, in reserve grade. He's also represented Ireland. So he's played the great game of rugby league all around the world. So Johnston is pivotal in a dummy half. Sending it up now for Ashcroft, taken down there by Kavana. So just short of the 40 metre line. Short ball needed to be. Here's Blinko down the touch line. He comes to the 20. He puts in the kick across field. And Ryan Griffin steals the. The raining ball, the raining bomb. Falling into his possession there, Ryan Griffin. As they come back out past their own 20 metre line. So, here's a penalty. Not back the, the required 10 metres on that occasion. So they're just having a little bit of a a committee meeting here in the middle of the field. No doubt they'll, they'll shoot this in towards the, the Wayne Pierce Hill area. With Josh Gillard, the 30-year-old, doing the, the kicking duties. Lines touch there. Just on the halfway line. So easy takes the tap. Back to Kavana. The boy from the, the Picton Magpies. Taken down here right on the halfway line. Here's Rad Day now. Made his debut in this competition back in, in 2005. 
Good tackle over the top there by Joel Patterson. That's where they are, right on the right on the 30 meter line. Back to Chard. Gets the big legs pumping and takes his side down towards the 20. We're under lights here at Leichhardt Oval. Here's Gillard. Beats one, still going Gillard before he's knocked down there by Captain Clark. So it's the fifth and last. They'll go from dummy half. There goes the kick. And just too much on it off the boot there of Ryan Griffin. So we'll come back out to the 20. The tap restart for New South Wales, of course. Ryan Griffin, 25 years of age. He's from the Australian Federal Police. His junior club was out in Orange. He's always been the hooker. He's always been very nuggety around a dummy half. He's always had those skills to, to make good, easy metre reach through the middle. And now we see holding down for too long. So not too many penalties in the first 10 minutes, but we've seen the a vital one for New South Wales as they kick this into touch and go back on the attack. 10 metres inside. Affiliated States' territory. This is Patterson again. Takes three big boppers along for the ride. So there's Johnston. This time, setting it up. This is Clisby. Offloads it. Oh, what a good shot. There on Jackson Clark, but he offloaded the football. This is Clark. Taken down there by Andrew Radda. Given back away now from Parrish. They're getting closer to the line, aren't they? Looking for first blood here. As New South Wales scurry from dummy half. They're trying to do it themselves through Johnston. The referee here is saying affiliated states. You've just got to keep these, keep these tackles down a fair bit because at the moment you're just going a little bit too high. It's Patterson. Winds himself up. He's within two metres. Back from Johnston. Away from Clark. He's lost a football. Now it's a late call, but a call that needed to be made. Here the boos going around Leichhardt Oval. The locals are not happy, but I think he's got it right there. It was a late call, but it was stripped out. We're going to take the tap here, 10 metres away, so they're still on the prowl. Back to Clark. So can they keep them out here? The affiliated states, New South Wales, rocking and rolling. Out the back door. That creates a gap out wide. It comes back then out of Blinko. He steps off the left and he's brought down two out. Nil all on the crim safe scoreboard. Well, that was a knock on. No. All the crowd booing their hearts out here at Leichhardt Oval as John. He's tackled just inside the 10. Flat-footed Patterson. He's looking to get himself across the stripe. Couldn't do so on that occasion. He played back to the right. Ashcroft delivers. Back to Clark. He's brought down on the last. Where will they go now? They've got to score. Put your life on it. Parrish. He does exactly that. The crowd don't like it. They think that the affiliated states was hard done by by our man with the whistle. But that's now history. Four points. And Josh Parrish scores right underneath the black dot. Well, that all came off too much possession, pretty much, on the affiliated states line. Josh Parrish getting his chance tonight. Replacing David Varkas. Of course, we know David Varkas, the, the Hungarian international. There's Rad Dane there just going over to ask a few questions to our to our referee. Not quite go the way he expected it. Just saying, what more could we have done? That's now history, as we say. The 
kick will come from right in front of the post now. Looking to add the extras, and they do. So, conversion is an absolute beauty. And New South Wales, they skip out to six points to nil. And the Crim Save scoreboard. Well, we've been on air since 1.30 today, folks. It's already been one of Australian Police Rugby League's ultimate clashes. We created a little bit of history earlier. Well done. Between New South Wales and also Queensland, the women turning on an absolute spectacle. The Women's Rugby League just getting almighty support. There's always been an audience. That audience is now increasing tenfold year in, year out. And isn't it great that sponsors are getting on board and getting free-to-air coverage and, and Fox Sports doing their best and live streaming competitions right around Australia supporting Women's Rugby League. Part of the future plans, future generations. There's that lost ball as Radan now. He was in two minds there whether to go away and collect it, but I knew that the referee was probably going to call it up here. And that he does. Right on the 40-metre line. So we'll see a scrum pack down. Looks like Nick Andrew Chard. Now to lock horns there with his opposite number in Jack Clisby. So as the game goes on, we'll have a chance to let everybody know where the, the constables and the detectives and the investigations squad come from as they see the gap down the right-hand edge. Here's Reed. We well, tried the flick pass because he knew he was going to be bundled into touch. So a few little errors here at Leichhardt. Just checking the, the police weather wall, our ever reliable weather wall. If you've been with us for the last three, four, five years, it's it's travelled all over the countryside. It's gone from Tamworth to Mudgee. All around Australia on the back roads. The M1 and somehow it's landed here today at Leichhardt Oval. We're just sitting on 12 degrees at the moment. Wind chill factor. Well, that's a little bit colder. Giving us a, a temperature reading of only 8 degrees. It's absolutely blowing a gale here. And the gale is pretty much behind the affiliated states in the first half of rugby league. Looking to claw their way back into the match. The crowd getting behind them. As we see now the ball and possession. Coming here through Stoneham. We'll now send it back to the right. Here's Chard. He's within a few metres. There's Ryan Griffin. Switches it to the right. He's got space to the right. It's just a matter of putting it through the back line. Here's Samisi. He's two metres out. Last tackle now for the affiliated states. Look for the kick into the end goal. Here's the chases are coming. The chases were coming, all right. Phil Stoner chasing with his heart on his sleeve. It's going to be a goal line dropout. Well, that was a beautiful weighted kick. And New South Wales, they had no other choice to take that over the dead ball line. So there's the bring back. And Milford storms his way back into Blues territory. Andrew Redder now. He goes for a dig from dummy half. He's been picked up and dumped. And a penalty. Can't do that in the game of rugby league anymore, can you? Taken over the, the horizontal. Captain Clark. Going across to the referee and having a chat on the run, but he's 
He's got to cop that on the shoulder. Our thoughts. Of course, with Andrew Redda, who... As I just look outside our commentary box window, he's coming from the field. Test him to his own strength there. He'll just go inside and get the, get the clearance. And hopefully we'll see him back out on the field very shortly. Here's Shard now. So here's Griffin. They love to shift it this way. They've had success. Here's Gillard. Good tackle there by Connor O'Brien. So given back away now from Gillard. He now goes short. So that's the 10 metre line. So there's Griffin. Griffin goes for a dig from dummy half. The nuggy little hooker. He'll play it. Pick of Vance. Switches it to the right. Here's a chance out wide. Here's Aiello. He's brought down there about eight metres away from the, from the New South Wales line. It's the last tackle. Back to Gillard. The chases are coming through. Pick of Vance is leading it. But Captain Clark, the constable, comes up with an almighty take and he's got his side rumbling back out beyond the 30 metre line. But Captain Clark, he's played for the under 20s with the Canberra Raiders. He's also played for the, for the Queensland Cup with the Burley Bears. And he's also the New South Wales Police Captain of the Year as the affiliated states give away a penalty. Couple of metres inside. Your own half a footy. There's the tap taken. Take the tap. 20 metres out from the affiliated states line. Here's Clark again. Also plays for the Queensland Cup for the Tweed Heads. Here's Patterson. And they're looking for their second try here. They're lining up with Will and Gusto out the back door. This is where it can be special for them. Our way to the captain in Clark. Oh, Clark, he's got there. The captain has scored a captain's try. Well, there you go. We just mentioned that he was the police captain of the year. He's been instrumental for the Burley Bears, also for the Canberra Raiders. And now he's picked up the second try here against Affiliated States. Look no further than the captain to turn it on. And that is what he has done. So 10 points to nil. And our Crimsafe ever-reliable scoreboard. It's just a great move, wasn't it, folks? Down the, the right-hand edge. Peacock, well, I call it in the in the in the in the call that it's always dangerous when he's that close to the line. He's just got those silky skills, the brilliant know-how to put his captain over the line. A very similar situation unfolded on Origin night on on Wednesday evening against Queensland, and that try brings a round of applause. For the locals. So here's Josh Parrish now from the touchline. Just a few metres in from touch, 21 metres out. This. He's kept it low. And it's hit the crossbar. Well, so close yet so far for Parrish. But two tries. In the first 25 minutes of footy here. They're up by 10 points to nil on our crime safe scoreboard. And the Tri-Nations. What a brilliant week. And of course, it's a huge year for the Australian Police Rugby League. No doubt go onto the Australian Police Rugby League Facebook page and check out all their upcoming events they've got going on right across Australia not just here in New South Wales but up through Queensland and right around the countryside 
And don't forget, folks, all the highlights are up on the Australian Police Rugby League Facebook page from Origin Night. And if you want the full match replay, go on to nrl.com. Brilliant night of footy. That's where they are, right in the middle of the field. They come storming back down through Jamison. The boy from the Wentworth Hill Magpies. Now they're looking at it. has gone forward. Referees get play on, though. Now there's the kick. There's the chases are coming through. Zaddos did tremendously well, didn't he? Well, I thought the pass went a mile forward to the Harbour Bridge and back. And our referees had play on, and tremendous play by Zaddo, who was the only 22 years of age. He's a second rower from the Nuchidor Swans. Saved the day, didn't he, for his affiliated states? His stone hand now. Rumbling back towards the 30. As affiliated states now rock and roll into Parish. Just short of the 40. This time straight down the, the corridor. And the ever reliable Hayden Peacock comes back into Cavana. Assisted there by Stoneham. Here's Johns now. What a try on Origin Night. Right underneath the post, picked up an absolute beauty, didn't he? Here's Domkins trying to rush away from one. Taken again down by Havana. Right on the, the 30 metre line. Here's Durheim now. Lays in the Queensland Cup for Tweed. Back to Johnson. Now there's the ball and there's a beauty. Wow! Wow! That was incredible. It was so quick. That is how you do it. So close to the line. Lining up with will. Lining up with power. The beautiful flick. The cross runner. And right underneath the black dot. It was sensational. Did well. Did what he had to do. Scored the try. Just trying to pick up the, the number plate here. Just having a look back here. I'm pretty sure it was Connor O'Brien. Number six. He's just been the orchestrator, hasn't he? Met him around the park tremendously well. Connor, of course, represented country. And the 23s. Seen week in, week out playing first grade for for Tukley. Up here on the central coast, here's the kick. And he's pushed it to the right. So he wouldn't be happy with himself there. That was a relatively simple kick from right in front of the post. And just looking at his face right now, he's absolutely gutted. Well, that's rugby league. I wouldn't be worrying about it too much. He's still up by 14 points to nil, isn't he, folks? Froshy Parrish. So we're going to, with seven minutes remaining in the match, in the first half, as affiliated states, send it deep. As I mentioned, in here in the, in the grandstand, it's probably 50% full. Had a tremendous turnout over the last couple of days. It's been fantastic rugby league, and we take our hot hat off to the women and the men who continue to represent the Australian police force in many states, giving their all. It's not easy to, to come to Sydney and leave your loved ones and everyone behind to represent New South Wales, but it's an absolute honour. Here's Blinko down the touchline. The ball was probably not the best to get their fourth try. And the referee has called it back here. But gee, Callum Blinko is having an outstanding series. He's 
be absolutely everywhere as Rhys Tompkins about to get his start here off the off the bench. So four games of football in, in three days. And of course we've got the NRL Schoolboys Cup and the Queensland Schoolboys Cup for everybody that's interested. Being also being played out throughout respective states in Queensland and New South Wales. As we just see here, time off here with just over five minutes remaining in the first half of football. But if we just have a chat about the NRL Schoolboys Cup right now. We've got a week off here. And we go into round two and then semi-final football. So I know a lot of the mums and dads out here in playing for the Blues also have a lot of kids that friends that go around in, in that, that competition so we wish them all the best it's great to have rugby league back at this level after a pretty much a two-year hiatus credit to the nrl and peter volandis who actually kept it going week in week out at top grade the premium level here in australia as they rock and roll now forward through Radan takes play to the 40 Here's Griffin. Heading straight into Brock Jemison's possession. So Mitchell West is on the field as well for the New South Wales side. As the kick now along the ground. And Ryan Griffin. Finding Peacock. Who hasn't put a foot wrong. Throughout the entire series, an absolute blinder on Origin Knight. He's in top form, the fullback. There's Buttrose playing it now. Wow. Now they're limping their way out of that tackle. We'll just keep an eye on the on the number plate. It was Jared Zedo. Yeah, the boy from Marucci Door. He's got his ankle in a awkward spot but he's just trying to stay out on the field he's just told the trainer he's okay he believes which is great news for Jared as we see a scrum being formed 40 meters out from the South Wales line so pick events plays for the Maitland pumpkin pickers well he has played with the junior system up in the Newcastle Rugby League, as we see now, Reed down the touchline. He's going to make it. Reed scores. Great try for Jordan. The 28-year-old has come across from Queen Bianne, and he's picked up their first try of the afternoon and puts them well and truly back into the contest. It's 14-4 on the Crimsafe scoreboard. A beautiful execution, speed to burn down that right edge. And the Australian Federal Police Officer. What a turn of foot. What a gun. They couldn't catch him. It was just too quick. It's been tremendous. They're just getting a round of applause as they come back to their own side of halfway. The affiliated states. Well, here's Gillard. Also a member of the Australian Federal Police. He's played the majority of his representative football in, in rugby union. Plays for the Warringah Rats as well on the... Peninsula, here's the kick, strikes it well, it's a beauty, the crowd like it, straight over the dot, beautiful strike of the footy, so the gap's closing, just that 
a little bit further as it sets up a, a tremendous second half of football here on the light to Leichhardt. And don't forget, folks, if you want to check out last night's clash here, what an epic. It was epic, and I don't use that word in its light terms. It had absolutely everything. So try and get a hold of that clash. Go onto the Australian Police Rugby League Facebook page and watch that tonight after dinner or tomorrow night. It was a brilliant clash. Turned out to be 16 all in the end. Queensland drawing with affiliated states. It was just fast and furious and spectacular rugby league for everybody to watch. Ended up drawing a a decent crowd here last night too. We've had brilliant crowds over the last two days here. And of course, what did we have at the stadium the other night? 80,000 was an absolute sellout. Here's Aiello dishing it up. Here to Stoneham. So he's on the last. Back to Griffin. Here's Gillard. Swinging high into the air. This ball bounces. Johns has gone without it. It's going to be play on. Samisi, he steps, he gets up. Oh, he's brought down. A metre away from the New South Wales line. Now, what happened here? Oh, boy, the siren's gone. It's beaten everybody. Can you believe it? Well, there you go, folks. We really hope you enjoyed that first half of football. Don't go anywhere. It sets up a... Tremendous second half of footy. But as we go to the break, on the Crim Safe scoreboard, three tries to one in favour of New South Wales. They lead by 14 points to six over the affiliated states. A break and back with more right after this.
Here's Domkins. Plays a lot of shoot shield. He was an Australian schoolboy in the rugby union. Sharrig offloads. O'Brien again. Great ball. They go for the line. Blinko. Can he get there? He's still going. He's got there. Try to New South Wales. From, from both sides of the border. As New South Wales again are pressed. There's another try coming here. Put your house on it. There it is. Peacock. And Sharrick. So a chance now for Queensland. Let's see what they can produce. Oh, they've bombed it. Great tackle again. Part of the West Tigers, top 30 in the NRL squad. There's a knock on. What a sigh of relief. Queensland, they're clapping. A little bit of niggle here between the cops. As New South Wales now try to put the foot to the accelerator through Johnson. He does that. Support on the left-hand side. Here's Ashcroft. Great tackle. Quick play the ball. New South Wales looking for their third try. Are they about to get it? They've got it all right. It's a try. Domkins. I wonder who was behind the, the lighting of the goalpost. Who was the mastermind? Well, there's been plenty of masterminds in in police rugby league over many years and it's producing the goods year in year out tremendous rugby league just like this straight through the middle corridor here's a chance again for new south wales here's clark he got it back here's johnson under the post oh look at him still a long way to go though still 20 minutes remaining here on origin night as we see them again trying to bust them again they do bust them again they're going to run away wow johns this time he puts his name up in lights so that's where they are through carl through bauer now now there's a penalty here Right on the 30, they're going to take the tap and straight through the middle they run. Here's Carl. Oh, what about this? The senior constable. Here's Carter Ozan again on the last. Will they pinch a try here? They may well just do it. It was brewing and it's brewed. Oh, Carter Ozan. Carl converts. And there's the siren. It's all over. The police state of origin for 2022. Congratulations to New South Wales. Isn't that nice? A beautiful rendition of Happy Birthday. They're having some fun. At Leichhardt Oval, the fans. So we're just now standing by, folks, for the, the second half of footy. We just tuned to our live stream coverage. It's the Blues leading by 14 points to six. Three tries to one in the first 35 minutes of rugby league. It'll be affiliated states running left to right on your screen. The boys in white taking on. Uh, 
proud state colour. The true blue. So there's the kickoff. Into the last 35 minutes of the Tri Nations of 2022. And there's the first bring back of the second half. They're lining up. They want a little bit of peace of Leichhardt Oval. There's Joel Peterson. Taking it forward now is O'Brien. He throws the dummy. Where's the support? He got it back, but he's gone without it. Well, is that a sign to come? For the Blues. Been able to go nearly 50 metres there. They love that freestyle play of rugby league, don't they? they they're not afraid to, to take their chances. So the scrum's going to be packing down and, and Josh Gillard. Now to put it into the back of the scrum. And there's Ryan Griffin. Sending it back here to Samisi. Going up from Victoria. Doing a tremendous job down there with the, the station that he's with, which is the just outside of Terralgan, I believe. Given back there now to Rad Demine. He's taken play down towards the 30. Good short ball back there from Vic Vance to to Chard. So 20 metres out now from New South Wales line. They've got a chance. Iello. So where's Ryan? He's about to come down and collect it. Switches it back to the left. Now Reed's chasing. And who's there at the back? The ever-reliable Captain Peacock. Reminds me of the old series gone by. Are you being served? Captain Peacock, he was the floor walker, wasn't he, folks, for Grace Brothers? Out towards the 30-metre line. Crowd. I think the referee know that Kavana might have been just holding on a little bit for too long here. Now he's blown a penalty, and they're going to we call back Matt Johnston. It's a great story for, for Matt. Of course, he was in the, the TV series, The Rookie. He was in the top ten, actually. Did a tremendous job. In the TV program called The Rookie. He's Wollongong through and through. Down there throughout Dapto and Spent a lot of time there in the, the Southern Highlands. Back away from Johnston. They've come up with the mistake. As affiliated states. To come back away with the footy here. But if you've been with us all throughout the day, folks, we've been here on the live stream pretty much since quarter to two so over the last two and a half hours the gale is well it's still a gale it's absolutely blowing here those beautiful fig trees up there on the Wayne Pierce Hill well, I don't think there's any any birds left in that I'll, I'll give you the tip they'll be absolutely frightened it is howling here at Leichhardt and that gale's just looking over at the flag. It's going across the field, so you wouldn't say any any side's got the advantage. Swirling and harrowing around. As we see now, Griffin looking up to eye off one of his attackers. It was Chance. Now, back to Griffin. Captain's tackle there made by Clark. Right on the halfway line. This is Chard. Now he's got an offload in him, and it's demonstrated here. 
Well, he must have heard us from the commentary box. He's got a wicked offload in him. So six more tackles. With just over 28 minutes remaining. In the series, here's Griffin again. Trying to angle players coming on the left. Patterson puts him down. Bigger Vance now, chiming in, back to Griffin. He's close. He's brought down a metre away. Here's Aiello. He'll go for a dart. Big numbers to the right. They scoot from dummy half. Barging their way over. Question is, have they scored? And the answer is, unfortunately not. It's a goal line dropout. Well, it was that man again, wasn't it? It was. Ryan Griffin is trying to single-handedly bring affiliated states back into the match. Here's Gillard. Samisi. He's on the last. They've got to come to the right. Here's Gillard. Good ball. What a beauty! Jordan Reed has pulled off an absolute stunner. Wow. What a ball out the back. That's his second try in the series. And the 28-year-old from the Kangaroos in Queanbeyan. Incredible. Well, he knew what his job was, and he knows what his job is throughout the week. He's a, an Australian federal police officer down there in the ACT. And tonight, the gap through that try is now coming a little bit closer, isn't it? So look to the Crim Safe scoreboard. 14 points. To 10. As Gillard. Has the chance for the touchline. To convert the try. He just turned 30 years of age. Taking his time. Now this Gale will no doubt help assist the kick. Let's see if he can use it to his full potential. It's gone to the left. So only four points in it. Good are like Hard Oval. What an iconic venue it is, home of the, the Balmain Tigers and tonight in the last few nights playing host to this terrific series put on by the Australian Police Rugby League we've seen everything it's been absolutely spectacular rugby league Now come back outside their own 20-metre line. As they now push towards the 30. Here they are now, just outside. Again, they attack. Here's Ryan. Takes his side to the halfway line. Good hands. Needed to be. Scooped up on the last. So Radman will play it. Back for the kick. Gillard. This ball could bounce. Who for? New South Wales come away with it. And Champ. Well, he stops Connor O'Brien in his tracks. Of course, Connor picking up a try here today. For the home state. It's time they charge again. Winding their motor up and run straight into 
into Reed. And also Luke Chance. It's come off a little bit. Worse for wear. Yeah, light hard oval. Wow. It was first used as a rugby league football ground. When was it? Pretty much, I think you'll find it was not back in 1934. The Balmain Tigers it underwent a huge major overhaul throughout the 70s. And tonight, the Blues looking to turn it on. Here's Clark. Taken down there on the last. Here's the air raid into the gale. This will be an almighty take. He's lost it. It's going to be play on, and the Blues are over. Wow. Well, I was going to say it was an almighty take. It was a, a nightmare for any fullback. And poor old Aiello. Well, he was left looking into the stars. And Ashcroft has just come up with an absolute stunner. It was Johnny on the spot. Well done. Hayden. Playing lock forward today. He's been around, hasn't he, for a while. Hayden Ashcroft. Been a part of the... The under-20s, of course, down at the, the Canterbury Bulldogs. It was a part of the President's Cup for them. It all started for him when he captain coached for the Wagga Wagga Kangaroos. Here's the conversion. So he's the boy from the Riverina. And over the years, hasn't the Riverina produced some almighty talent? Coming out of that area, of course. Beautiful part of the world, the Riverina. Yes. Steve, Chris. All hailing out of the Mortimers. Down there in Wagga Wagga. Mark Taylor. Michael Slater, Jeff Lawson. Just a fantastic part of the world. As New South Wales here. About to take it forward through the middle to the roar of the crowd. 20 to 10. On our crim safe scoreboard. Short of the halfway line. Touch judge has told the referee that that was a little bit high, and there is an all in brawl here between the coppers. They've come from everywhere. Now, there's been tension in this clash since the get go, but now it's spilling over front of many fans watching on from the grandstand and right around Australia. We're just going to referee will sort this one out. So both touch judges are in. Let's see what comes of this. He's about to just hear the verdict of the touch judge's report. And I'm pretty sure there'll be some discipline happening here. So Red Dane's coming over and on the left. So both captains are being called out. telling Red Dane that 
You don't cut this out. Be a few players spending a little bit of time up the race. So quite a fiery encounter, actually, right now with the referees. Both sides, they're just letting one another know their words before shaking the hand. Now, that's teammate Chip. There's Captain Clark there just getting the handshake there by the captain in, in Radane from the affiliated states. Well, didn't start out quite nicely, but it ended quite nicely. And no action taken by a match official. So we're still 13 on 13. With just over 18 minutes remaining in the clash. So here's Johnston. Sends it short. Here's West. He's crawling his way there into Gillard. Back to Johnson. Peterson down towards the 10 metre zone. Here again now through Johnson. They switch it. Looking around for support off the hip. Where's the dummy half? It's come. Domkins! So the last tackle now for New South Wales. They scurry from dummy half, but he's lost it. There's a knock on. They went for the burrow. But in doing so, the ball is spilt out. No try. And the Blues there. They're lying off their fifth. But they're now stuck. Stuck on four. And leading by 20 points to 10. On the crime save scoreboard. With Peter Jolly in the commentary box. It's been a brilliant couple of days, hasn't it? Watching this tremendous rugby league. And there it is again. Captain Clark pulling off an absolute thumper. On Stonham. And now the, the ball has just trickled out of the possession as, as Glenn Baker is trying to run away with it. The referee says, Glenn, come back here. I've, I've just had my PSM appointment last week. I ended up seeing that quite okay. So New South Wales... Ten point advantage. Again, pressing the line. O'Brien storming his way beyond the ten. So there's Johnston. He's looking around. He's trying to find constables. He's found a constable, and that's Constable Patterson. Doesn't want to go on the ground, does he? So he'll play the ball. Back from Johnson. Good hands by Jamison. That's where they are, centre of the field. So there's Johnson again. They work it to the right. Couple more left up their sleeve here. Now the referee's given away a penalty. So not back. The required distance. They were trying to creep up from the from the try line. So Brock again, he's close, he's right on the try line. They're up by 20 points to 10. Now that's a penalty, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Seven days a week, right in front of the post. So they cut out one, here's a try coming now. That's how you do it. Now... The touch judge has come into it. Oh, hold on. They've been denied the try. Now, touchy over here. Nathan has said to the referee, don't give it. And they haven't. Well, let us know at home, folks, what you make of that decision by our referee. But his officials are, are right on the spot. Of course, our, our officials in this one have got a, a great pedigree in, in New South Wales Rugby League officiating on the touchline. 
As now the affiliated states now run back towards the 30 metre line. Now they are begging for a penalty. Not coming. Here's Griffin. Too short of the 40. Stoneham gets his boys rolling towards the halfway line. As Gillard decides to play it up the other end. Here's Johns. Scored an absolutely brilliant try on Origin night. Scored right underneath the post. And an amazing honour. Playing in front of 60,000 at the Accor Stadium. And tonight, here at the iconic Leichhardt Oval, as O'Brien, he's gone straight through. He's got support. Peacock, he offloads it. It's going to be a ripper. O'Brien has pulled off the try. The try of the series. The crowd's gone up. Facebook has gone Wild ballistic. And Connor O'Byrne has come up with one of the most iconic tries of the series on the most iconic oval of the series here at Leichhardt. Wow! Well, check out that throughout the week. That was incredible. The Harlan Globetrotters move over. Absolutely brilliant. Let us know, folks. Get yourself onto Facebook and let us know what you thought of that. A humdinger of a try. It was a corker. Well, if anyone's back in the, the Australian Defence Force or Queensland or New South Wales Media Police Department and you can rip this off Facebook and put your own highlights together. Where would you start? Where would you start? It's been a absolute brilliant couple of days. It really has, folks. And, and don't forget, if you just clicked on for the very first time tonight, do yourself a favour and jump on to nrl.com that's nrl.com, and they've got the full match of Origin on Wednesday night. And there's also the highlights video for you to watch. Just go onto the video tab and, and scroll down until you find New South Wales Police and Queensland Police. So 26 points to 10. A deep kickoff. But they're flying high, aren't they, the Blues? Look at this. Surging run by Brock Jemison. From the Wentworthville Magpies, but now he's lost it. Little niggle here again. Oh, it's, it's not for the faint-hearted. Plenty on the line. 16 points with 11 minutes to go. He's a... An almighty feat, or will it be, for the affiliated states to come back into this clash? It's a long way to go. We're about to feed the scrum. He through Ryan Griffin. So they work the right. Backline move. Here's Pickavance. A remarkable Newcastle story. Play for the, the Swansea Swans in juniors. Here's Chard. Straight through. Bang. Try. Try to Chard. Well, it's not over yet. It could well only be the beginning. But again, a little bit of Induendo building up in the in goal area. 
But what about him? Incredible. Andrew Chard. What a, what a workhorse. What a Mount Mountain. With the Australian Federal Police. And also from the Kiama Knights. So the kick from right in front on Gillard. Now, if he can knock this over and make it 26 to 16. There's still 10 minutes remaining. And they'll be 10 behind. Never say die attitude of the affiliated states. They came home late last night and end up drawing with Queensland. It was 16 all last night. What are they able to produce in the last nine minutes? Here's the kick. It's a ripper. Straight over the dot. So 10 point ball game. You're on the crime safe scoreboard. With just over nine minutes remaining. As the A380 Qantas plane just coming in from Singapore, goes over the right hand side of the, the goalpost. So this is it, folks. Eight minutes. Stay with us. You're on the Australian Rugby League police page. And there's the kickoff. It's high. As Samisi. The centre three quarter. Now giving it up his nurse. The boy from the Northern Territory. Played all his rugby league with the Dam Busters. What a name. The Dam Busters. Now they shoot the left. Stoneham bumps one off. Tries to get up over the halfway line. Cut down just short. Seven minutes remaining here at Leichhardt Oval. Razzle dazzle. Back to Whiten. He's got a penalty. A penalty to Whiten. We've gone too high. Our referee's liking. They're going to... Just look around here and say, boys, let's kick it into touch. And that's exactly what they do do. The tap's taken. Stoneham wants it. He's come away with it. The big second rower. Here's Kavana. He's gone without it. Well, he was trying to barrel his way over the Blues line. As the affiliated states try and barrel New South Wales. <laughs> Back over there, goal line. The referee says, boys, having any of that? As a scrum feed will be given to New South Wales as they come off their own 10 metre line away from the Keith, ba Keith Barnes stand in the field. The Dale still causing havoc, swirling around the ground. As New South Wales, well, they've got six minutes, six minutes to, to hang on. They know what's required. They know what they've got to do to take home victory. So right on the 40 metre line, Johnston, he sets it up to the right. Quick play the ball. Affiliated States is lying around the ruck too early. There's Matt Johnson there, the contestant on the rookie. He's been told to come back here and hand it over to Josh Parrish. He thumps this into touch. Right on the 40. 
Here's Jamison again. Sideway movement there by Nurse. Ashcroft. The palm, the go, the in and away, the determination, the grit, the power, the strength. It's his try right there with five minutes remaining. And that now puts the buffer. Out by 30 points to 16. Good on him. Hayden Ashcroft. Picking up his double today. Well, he knew what was required, didn't he? It was just... Giving affiliated states a lesson there in defence. And his big frame. His big constable frame. You don't want to meet him in the, the back lanes of King's Cross at night if you've done something wrong. or He'd be pouncing on you at every opportunity. Just like he did there for the affiliated states. So just under four minutes. Here's the kick. Looks good. It's the post. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, there's the... Who do we blame for that? Do we blame the Gale? Because it was coming back towards where he kicked it from. It's hit the post. Uh, rugby league can produce memorable moments. Uh, don't you love the great game of rugby league? As we see the affiliated states here take nothing away from what they have been able to throw at their opposition over the last couple of days. A draw last night with Queensland. They won't come across with the, the jockeys this time against the New South Wales as the kick goes into the in-goal area. Here's Talmalolo. 19 on his back. Assisted by Whiten. There's Talmalolo again. Fresh off the bench. Taking play. Out towards the 20. There's Talmalolo again. That's his... His third tackle in succession. As we see now, the ever-impressive Johnston takes his side to halfway. So it's the fifth and the last. Up it goes. Into the gale. This time. Into the bread basket. And the chasers. Absolutely superb. And of course, there by Blake Draper. And assisted over the top there was Sam Press. So 90 seconds left. What a series it's been. It's no doubt a highlight. It is a highlight on the Australian Rugby League police calendar. And produces the goods. With every year, and this year, is no different. There's the kick. Away from Peacock. Steps. Oh, what about the palm from Hayden? The boy from Ireland. That's where he was born. He represented Ireland. There's Buttrose offloading. Oh, there's Connor. So just 40 seconds to go. Have they got one last try in them? That pass stuck they could well have had. Well, Mitchell West was after the footy. Mitchell West, the 
He's played first grade for Central in the Newcastle comp. Mitchell West was the previous New South Wales and the Australian police captain. And he was the Australian police player of the year back in 2017. So we're inside the last 16 seconds of the championships. Now the bus is made. Beautiful ball. Here they go. Press taps it. And that's where it's come to a halt. Well, there's that enterprising rugby league, folks. Four seconds remaining. The siren's about to go. There goes the siren. And the championships of 2022, they've come to a climax. Congratulations to the Blues. Six tries to three. Here at Leichhardt Oval. They got up in the end by 30 points to 16. Well, we just want to take this tremendous opportunity to thank everybody, the players, the strappers, and the individual police stations who have given time off for these incredible athletes to come out here onto Leichhardt Oval and also the Olympic Stadium over the last three days. They have done their stations, they have done their states, and they have done their own individual performances absolutely spectacular. Take nothing away from everybody out here tonight. They've put their bodies on the line and they have produced a phenomenal series. And don't we look forward to the next. It's a huge year on the Australian Rugby League Police calendar. Make sure you go onto Facebook. All the upcoming games throughout the back end of the year, they're all up there. Like the page, get behind everybody, and don't miss your next Rugby League clash here in the police. The crowd's not going anywhere, but stand by now as we go downstairs for the presentation.
Well, that pretty much brings the, the Tri-Nations to an end, folks. Congratulations to New South Wales. And on behalf of everybody at the New South Wales Police Force, Queensland Police Force and the Australian Federal Defence Force, we'd like to pretty much thank you for everybody for coming out today and paying your respects to this great game of Police Rugby League. We'll do it again soon. We look forward to your company next time. And don't forget, all the highlights are up on NRL.com. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.